Good evening, agents. This LP of No One Lives Forever will self-destruct in nine minutes. We've finally made our way up to the, uh, very tip-top, the Duma household, and, uh... Ooh, that's awkward. I think they're gonna need to get somebody else to fill that position. So it occurs to me I haven't been acting in a very super spy fashion. I haven't been using very many of these fantastic gadgets I brought with me, so uh, I actually brought a special weapon with me this time. I'll be using the uh, the acid gas, and uh... <coughs> oops. Sort of a uh, side effect of uh... side effect of the weapon selection is that sometimes it goes off screen when you don't have it bound to a hotkey, and uh... It is pretty much one hit kill. Functions like uh, poison rounds or, you know, gives you the same sort of death animation and uh, it still leaves a uh, nice little burning after smell. It's got to... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for everyday use, but it, it has a nice smell to it. Anyway, we finally made up the gondola. We're finally going to infiltrate this, uh, this base where we're pretty sure the Baroness is hiding out and it really seems like she's the one we've been looking for. What does harm stand for, anyway? So, we're trying to track down the Baroness. We need to find the list of names that, uh... of the people that have been poisoned with the, uh, explosive compound. And, uh... Then, you know, best case scenario, we'll make it out of here scot-free. I mean, Scott's an okay guy and all, but, you know, I don't want him to... I don't want to have him around that much. Are you alright? Oh yeah, he's alright. In hell, alright! Used armor. Do you, um... Would you really want used armor? I mean, it's some... Um, I mean, I guess it didn't work that well the first time. You, you know what I mean? It's, uh... It doesn't establish a very good track record going forward. There's a uh, guy up there, but we'll come back to him. I mean, he's just an engineer, right? Maybe. Out here on this little snow area, there is, I think there's only one guard. There might be two, I forget. Just the one. Could be, I could be getting confused by different patrols. Ah, uh, that's who I was thinking of. I was kind of expecting him to maybe path out to this area and look and see what all the noise was, but I guess he didn't bother. Which, hey, you know, that's fine. Good for him. Slightly worn kilt. How... How can you tell it's slightly worn? Anyway, um, our objective here is to get on this elevator, but to do that we have to go up to that sparking electrical panel that the engineer is standing in front of and activate it. So, uh, we'll have to find our way upstairs first, which is a little bit more difficult than it sounds, because you've got stuff like the, this staircase being absolutely broken. And you have, well, nothing of interest over here. So hey, we can just take this uh, staircase on the outside. Should take us right up to the second floor, no problem. Or... Maybe I should say... Snow problem. Well, there's a third way up. We'll just have to uh, make our way up this ladder. Uh, take a quick look around, but if I remember right, there's nothing of interest on the second floor. Uh, up on the third floor, however, we have a, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a secret passage, it might just be, you know, building degradation, but uh, we can leap across the uh, top of this little overcrop, outcrop, overhang, that one, and we'll hop in this window. Now, there's a box of ammo over there, but um, I have no idea how to get to it, so I'm not going to. 
And I didn't bring my uh, barrette with me, so uh, no lock picking today. But uh, let's see here. That's how they sucker you in. Stealth. So we'll go ahead and flip the switch, which will activate the elevator for us. I do want to take a quick look up on the uh, other side of this uh, wall here. Now you may have seen a ladder I didn't go up earlier, and uh, that goes up here. Most of the area is blocked off. I mean, it just has some body armor here. Overall, this is a pretty pretty short and not really a uh, very interesting mission. But uh, it serves its purpose well enough. You know, I always hate these kinds of elevators in first-person shooters where you're not sure which side they're going to open out on. Mostly because I always expect there's going to be an enemy on the other side of the elevator, and I'm going to be looking in the wrong direction. But, um... Oddly enough, most of the time there are no enemies at the top of the elevator, so maybe that's maybe that's good game design. Maybe I'm just paranoid for no reason. Both both are possibilities. Now it looks like we've only got one way to go. And truth is, there are no more enemies throughout this mission, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop out here. But uh, please join me next time. Maybe we should throw her off a cliff. Did I ask for your opinion? No, but I was just thinking. Oh, you were, were you? Yes, I think keeping her alive is a bad idea. Is that so? You know how in spy shows the hero always gets away? Well, that just sets a considerable precedent, don't you think? Sure, it's just television shows, but it still makes me nervous. Take a look at that. Excuse me? I said look at her. You want to murder her? I don't want to, it just seems prudent. Prudent, eh? If you don't mind my saying so, you seem rather moralistic for a man who earns his living as a criminal. We've already killed thousands of people, what's one more? It wasn't me that killed them. You work for the organization that did. Doesn't that implicate you as well? They didn't ask me what I thought about it. Perhaps not, but you knew there was a possibility that such things could happen. Okay, maybe you're right. But that doesn't mean I want this girl's blood on my hands. Truth be told, I'd sooner kill you than her. Then I'll stop trying to convince you to throw her off the cliff. That's prudent of you. I must confess, I haven't been able to sleep since that explosion in England. Me neither, lad. Can I ask you a question? What would you do if I began walking towards a gondola dock with the intention of leaving this organization? I might give you a piece of advice. What would that be? Don't get yourself killed. The thought had occurred to me. 